Hi, if you're new here, my name is Kaylee and I'm 22 years old and I still don't have my license. Ooh, what, what, what? <laughs> Kaylee, stop, stop. I should have passed. I've been saying I'm gonna get my license since I was like 15 and it just didn't happen. I have a crippling fear of driving. Pretty much everyone in my family, everyone in my boyfriend's family has been telling me, you need to get your license, you need to be independent, you need to do this, you need to do this. For some reason, since everyone was telling me that I needed to do it, I was stubborn and I was like, well now I don't wanna do it because if I do it, I'm not gonna be doing it for myself and I'm gonna be doing it for everybody else. Anyways, that's also part of why I haven't gotten my license yet since I've moved out that's obviously calmed down a little bit so about two weeks ago I just had an epiphany and I was in the car and I was like mm, I want to drive and I pretty much told my whole family I don't, I do, don't things do things unless, unless I, want I want to, want do, to them. do them I'm not gonna do something if I don't want to do it I'm not gonna start driving unless I want to start driving I got my permit a little while ago I've taken the permit test twice now and then it expired and it technically did have six more months because it was like during COVID and during that time they gave like a six month expansion thing but that expired as well then i had to get another permit so i do have a permit right now but i can't drive alone so tyler's literally standing outside of the car when i'm filming this right now right when i got my permit a few months ago i drove two times i was really nervous and when i stopped filming i instantly started crying and having a breakdown so how you feeling you know what i should do i should green screen this out and like make it look like it's moving <laughs> Kaylee! Man. Oh my god, you're like a staring at me. Yeah, probably. Now let's go before he yells okay, at well, us. Okay, well, I for... forgot how to drive. That would be the blinker. No, this is the blinker. Now, just remember it let off easy. And... Remember, let out of the turn early. Perfect. There you go. There she. Look at you. Kaylee, stop, stop, stop. Oh my god. What? You were coming in kind of hot for a turn, damn. No, I think I was doing a good oh, job. Okay. It hurts. Why does your leg hurt? You tensing up full? Yeah, like really bad. I forget that you have to like kind of look around you like the whole time. Dude, this tripod's so sick. Kaylee. What? 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 I stopped again, and then up until two weeks ago, I just didn't want to drive. And I didn't really do that much driving. I drove in parking lots, and that's pretty much it. But this time was different. I wanted to do it, so I was more confident. And I feel like you need to have confidence when you start driving. So all my people that are watching this that don't drive and are scared to drive like me, you need to have confidence when you're driving, because when I'm scared, I can't do it. I feel like I'm going to crash, and I'm a nervous driver, and you do stupid things because you're anxious and your brain's doing a million things but anyways for some reason I thought driving was like the most terrifying thing on the face of the planet I didn't think I could do it the last two weeks I have driven every single day I'm talking parking lots drive-throughs I'm parking backing up into places the only thing I have not done is I have not gone on the freeway I did want to actually film me driving and this video is going to include me getting my license right now we have to go to Target so I'm gonna tell Tyler to come back in you can come back in Hello. Oh, I literally drove every single day since the first day I started driving. In the beginning, I did short, small trips. I would go to Starbucks that's like a street away and go home. And then I worked my way up to going on more busy streets. You know, I went on PCH and if you know where that is, it's like almost a freeway sometimes. It's like 55 miles an hour. So I went on there to prepare myself to go on the freeway and I did not film myself going on the freeway because I did want to have my wits about me. I went on the freeway. Very very terrifying, but I've been on the freeway like three or four times now, and I genuinely think I could go by myself. I would just be shitting bricks the entire time. The one thing that has helped me is forcing myself to drive every day. And obviously in real life, I'm probably not gonna drive every day. I've gone 22 years without doing it. Now I have that muscle memory. I'm not super stiff anymore. I naturally look in my mirrors. I can switch lanes perfectly fine. I'm not hitting curbs and, and exposure therapy is very real people. You're good on the right, you're good on the left, go. I got the blinker. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Stop. Hi, can I have a tall vanilla bean frappuccino? Okay. And then can I also have a venti caramel <laughs> ribbon crunch frappuccino? My mom's call. 
it's the 15th today and I have my driving test on the 19th at 2 p.m. And I went driving with my dad yesterday and totally now looking back, should have filmed that, but I didn't. Someone on YouTube mapped out the DMV course and there's two routes. So we went on like the routes and stuff and it had key points. So look over your shoulder if you're gonna turn right to make sure there's no one in a bike lane and little things like that and putting your blinker on before you're turning out of like a spot on the curb. And there's little things that I totally wouldn't have done. I'm going to go on that course a few other times with Tyler before and I really hope that I don't fail because if I fail, it's gonna suck. And I kind of feel like I'm going to, but hopefully I don't. For no reason either. No, I feel like I'm going to fail from like a bunch of little markdowns. You're gonna be good. You're gonna pass it. I hope so. For my driving test. Yeah. My bad. I've never gone out there like quickly. You're going too slow. No, I'm not. Um, I literally was a 38 and a 40, and now it says 25. It's not 25 right now. Yes, it is. It's not. Long. Yes, it is. 25 when school's in. It's still Sunday. 25. No, it's not. That's not how that works. Prove it. Guess what? Maybe you're going 10 under. Nope. He like randomly started to go in front of me. Don't go! Don't go! What stupid lady is walking in the crosswalk when it's not ready for her to go. This video is sponsored by Factor. Now Kaylee, tell us what Factor is. Factor gives you the option to have ready-made meals delivered to your doorstep. Even though I work at home and yes, I could cook, I kind of deal with having really, really bad time management and I've talked about this in the past. I will start cooking and it will take me like three hours. I kind of skip lunch way too much for my liking. It's usually because I'm working, just don't want to go through the hassle of cooking because I know it's gonna take me a long time and then I'm going to have to clean up the entire kitchen afterwards. You can pick over 30 plus dietitian design options every single week. I have eaten every single one. Every single one was amazing. One thing I really, really love is you can very easily adjust your order size or you can even skip a week like if you have a special event coming up. The meals are always fresh, not frozen. You can make these in literally two minutes. I personally do not have a microwave so I did use my oven. Following the directions and opening up the packaging and stick it in. For today, I have a spinach and mushroom chicken thighs with creamy parmesan and white wine sauce. That is so, so good. It's just very convenient for when I'm like super, super busy, but you still get that feel of like a home cooked meal, not like going out and getting fast food. And it really helped me stick to my goal to like actually eating lunch in the day. So you can head over to factor75.com or you could go to the link down below and use my code Kaylee50 for 50 percent off on your first factor box 50 percent off thank you so much factor for sponsoring this video So I'm about to take my hair out. I did like a heatless blowout thing, but I just wanted to talk for a second. My appointment is at 2 p.m. And it is like 9.30 p.m. right now. But no, I'm half asleep. 9.30 a.m. I am nervous, low-key confident. Like I feel like I can do this, but whenever I'm confident about something, I get really like in my head about it. I literally get nervous that I'm confident about something. So then my brain starts to tell me bad things, like that I'm going to fail it. I've literally practiced so much. I'm gonna go practice driving right now. We actually have to go run a few errands, like adulting things. We have to get trash bags. I'm gonna try and remember everything. 
and not freak out. You know I'm anxious when instantly when I wake up, I make tea. I don't think I'm gonna be drinking any coffee or caffeine beforehand. So far, I've only kind of driven with Tyler. Like a long time ago in high school, I was trying to get over my fear and it didn't work. I did go with my dad a few times, but it was only like five-ish times and we drove literally for a minute and then like stopped because I couldn't do it. Even when I was with my dad the other day, I like started to get that like panicky where I was starting to get like dizzy. I get very like, dissociated when I panic and it's my vision gets very tunneled and I was like trying to snap out of it and I did but if I was like that with my dad imagine like with a stranger in the car so I'm just like trying not to psych myself out. I know this like seems so silly to people who have never had the fear of driving. Bear with me okay. I know it's hard to understand other people when you've never dealt with it but I don't know why I have a fear of driving. My whole entire life I've seen other people drive in my head, I'm like, I don't know how everybody else is doing this. This is like terrifying. I wish it wasn't like that. I hate it. I wish I could just like not be scared of driving and not have like that anxiousness in my chest and my stomach every single time I'm behind the wheel. But that's the way it is and I am finally just over not being able to go anywhere and do you want to answer one of my most asked questions? People have just said like how the hell have you survived in like LA, Southern California without having your license? And I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty freaking easy. The delivery services have made it really, really easy. I didn't go anywhere in high school. I didn't really go out. I've always been a very introverted person. So being at home for like a week at a time and even like months at a time isn't really that crazy to me. That's just how I've always been. I like being at home. I'm a homebody. My home is my comfort place. When Instacart came out, if I wanna get pretty much anything i have it all at my fingertips which is amazing but it is a waste of money also but i don't have to pay for gas so if you think about it it's kind of like evening out i don't have a car payment and i don't have to pay for gas also i do live with my boyfriend please don't get the wrong idea i don't make him like slave me around if we have to go run an errands it's like both of us going together i don't know it's never really been that difficult for me and i think that's why i've waited so long but the main issue now is i want to do stuff alone and i can't. It will just help me feel more independent because a lot of times I do feel very trapped. That is kind of what finally pushed me over the edge and I know a lot of my viewers also have this fear of driving and I know I'm gonna get a bunch of questions like what made you switch? Like what made you want to drive? Literally just me wanting to film YouTube videos in a car and being able to drive me to where I need to go. Like I needed to go to Joanne's for a Halloween video that I'm filming like 10 times for different fabrics and stuff. And I couldn't just go by myself. Like I, I drove myself this time, but Tyler had to be with me because I don't have my license. I only have a permit. And it would've been so nice to just be able to drive there myself. But I'm, I, there's no like magical answer of like how I got over the fear. I definitely didn't get over the fear because every single time I drive, I'm extremely anxious and panicky like in my body. It has subsided so, so much since I've been driving like every single day. And that's it's like we're gonna leave right now and go out to run a few errands and I'm gonna get driving in. This right here is why heatless curls are the best thing ever. Package! Bro, I like lost track of time and I was sitting and watching TV and eating lunch and it's 1.30 and the place is like 10 minutes away and instantly when Tyler was like, oh, it's like almost 1.30, my stomach instantly dropped and I just am now super nauseous. I hate being anxious. It's literally like the worst thing ever. I am now not going to talk to the camera and I'm going to get ready and then you, mean you guys will see if I pass or not. <laughs> <laughs> on our way to the DMV, even though we made an appointment that's a super long line that we have to wait in, we love the DMV. We go on it and uh, yeah. Your girl's crying. I'm not one for crying on the internet, but uh, I wanted to show you guys 
the reality of the situation and I was literally so crushed and now we're gonna listen to very sad Kaylee explain what happened. Okay. No, I did not pass. And the reason why I'm crying isn't because I like did something super horrible. I'm crying because I genuinely like feel like I should have passed and like the lady, the rudest person I have ever met. <laughs> I only did one thing wrong and it was an automatic fail. Say you're driving and you have to get into a left turn lane and you know there's the two double yellow lines. When I tell you my wheels barely touched it, I didn't even go into it. And when we got back, I was like 100% confident because I didn't do anything else wrong. She told me that and then she like like chuckled. It was like, so it's an automatic fail and just got out of the car. I'm gonna cry for a while and I already made my next appointment. So my next appointment is in, I think, four days. And now I'm extra nervous about that. I'll see you guys in four days. Editing Kaylee popping in for a quick second to give you guys some context. Like I said, I made another appointment on October 23rd. Tyler could not get work off that day. He didn't have a schedule yet, so I couldn't reschedule it. So I kind of just forgot to cancel my appointment. He was trying to get someone at work to take his shift. My appointment is at 11 a.m. in the morning. His work starts at like 10, 15. He gets to work. Everyone's like, wait, why are you here? And he's like, well, what do you mean? And they're like, you have someone taking over your shift. And he was like, well, no one told me. He calls me. I am still sleeping in bed, kind of defeated and sad. I spring up out of bed. I have never gotten ready so quick in my entire life. Run our little buds to the DMV. I had already told my mom and everyone that I wasn't taking the test. So nobody knew that I was gonna be taking the test. So if I failed again, then no one would know. Let's see how it goes. I didn't know that I was taking my test today because Tyler was working and I had like 10 minutes to get ready. Hopefully I don't fail it. To pee so bad I didn't pee before I left. I knew you had it. Oh my goodness. It was, de it was definitely it, the other lady's it's fault. It's the other lady's fault. Well, he like laughed I feel like, when I feel we like, told him what happened. Yeah. I'll explain it later. I'll put in a clip right here. We pull up this little area and you wait for the instructor to come. There was a person in front of us. We waited there for like 10 minutes already. The lady that failed me gets in their car. And like she just has the same like demeanor. Instantly just like stressed me out. Please let there be other instructors and not just her. They drove off and they were gone for a while and the other instructor hadn't come so I'm like is there only one instructor am I gonna have to go with this lady again and I was just telling myself no it's fine Kaylee you got your crying out that day and you're not gonna let anything get in the way of you taking your test but we saw another man coming out he comes up to the window and he was like hi good vibes right off the bat I don't know what her problem was he sees that it's my second test because there's like another paper like stapled on top of your permit thing he was like second test huh what happened explained to him I was going in the left turn area and there's that little pocket with the double yellow lines and I didn't even go in it my left tires went on the line to get into it and that's how I failed and there was no other marks and he was like hmm he was silent for a second and then he was like wait can you explain that again he was like huh interesting that just gave me so much confirmation that i think that lady genuinely like she kind of just seemed like she wanted to fail me and you can take it with what you will i'm not trying to be that person where it's like mm, not fair i genuinely like don't even understand how i got failed i also looked stuff up afterwards and the way she marked it on the paper as an automatic fail wasn't like what i did and it wasn't supposed to be an automatic fail i don't know this man talked to me the entire time he was so nice and then when we got back he was like well you passed thank you Jesus. I prayed so much because I was just like, if I fail the second test, I feel like that's God telling me that I'm not supposed to try. Oh my God, okay. So yeah, we have to go in. I'm like, I don't think anyone quite understands it like I do. She's been working towards this for so long now. You also don't understand how many like people in my life were just like, oh, she's never gonna get her license because I was so against it. Cause it made scared. me so nervous. Yeah. Wow. You did it, dude. Wow. Good job. 
Only one part where I made a turn and there was no line in the middle and I didn't want to like hit the cars next to me. Yeah. You know how I go more on certain sides? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was another car turning and I moved but I didn't want to jerk the car so I was moving slowly and he was like, oh yeah, you need to stay more on the right side but he was like, I'm not going to fail you for that. So. Yeah. Because he. Woo, because I, <laughs> I, I really did. Oh yeah, she passed, she passed, yeah. yeah. Good job, thank yeah, you. thank you. Congrats to you guys too. Yay. Oh my I'm so excited. Okay, let's go get my license. Wait, this is so cool. You're literally a whole licensed driver. My mom doesn't even know I took the test today, too, so I'm gonna call no her. She's gonna be does. like, what? Awesome. It's done! I did it! I'm so happy. I don't need to take this stupid test again. I'm gonna FaceTime my mom and tell her that I passed. So she thinks that I didn't take my test today. <laughs> So Tyler showed back up at the apartment a few minutes after he had gotten to work because he got there and no one informed him that someone took his shift. And he came back and- Did you take your test? Yeah, and I passed. Did you take your test? Shut up. Did you really? Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh, congratulations. Honestly, I think this worked out exactly so, how it's supposed to. So, you. we pull up and there's someone in front of us. Guess who that person had? Her. The guy that I had talked to me the entire time was so nice. So nothing about speed, nothing about not looking enough. Nope. That's amazing because those are usually the most cute. Oh, trust me, I'd be whipping my head back and forth the entire time. No, is it the same route? Yep, same exact one. I am so happy. So, I mean, I can't like show you because it has all my personal information on it, but this is my license for now until I get it in the mail. There was an issue where on my permit, I guess I put in the wrong unit number. I had to get that switched, so I had to go get like two forms of ID, proof of residency, and then we had to go back and the lady was actually really nice and I think she pulled a few strings because I don't think she was the one that was supposed to do it. I think I was supposed to like go get into like another window at the DMV. Anyways, it all worked out and I can't believe it. Wow. I'm just so happy. So we're getting lunch right now. We're just gonna get Waba Grill. And then tonight, Tyler's getting me in and out because in and out's my favorite place ever for dinner. And I'm gonna go get Starbucks right now for my reward. I am so ecstatic. This is crazy. You guys know this has been such a journey. I could get my license for the last eight years of my life. I just couldn't do it. I don't know. And I just want to tell you, if you are struggling with the fear of driving, you're not alone. And honestly, it's just you have to get to that point where you're ready for yourself and you're not doing it for other people around you there's someone pulling up next to me the guy next to me is doing like little vape tricks in his car how is it oh that is staring at me don't look at me Hi there, can I get a venti caramel ribbon crunch with two shots of blonde espresso? Yeah. Dude. Oh, she gave us two. Oh, the crumbly crumbles. I was gonna say. Mm. Cheers. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some Now ladies, that do drive. Do you drive with your boyfriend in the car? Does he like to make comments about how you drive, but then he also drives crazy and says he doesn't? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Exhibit A. Going really fast over speed bumps. 